welcome to my channel. If you clicked on this, it probably means you're looking for a tutorial on the Strandman wing chair. I previously made a tutorial for this chair. That video is just footage with subtitles. I will link it in the description box. But this video is gonna be me talking to the camera. I figured I would make this second video because some people tend to learn better when it's talking verbally rather than just footage. So this will be more of a talk through tutorial. All right, here are all the pieces. You're gonna have the two sides to the chair, the platform, the back cushion, the actual seat cushion, four legs, and your hardware. It's always good to make sure you have all the parts. All right, step one, you're gonna take these two screws. These two will go in this hole and this hole on this back cushion. Make sure that when you put it in, this little, this, this end of the screw goes in first. Step two, you're gonna slide the base cushion into the back cushion. Step three is gonna require a few more parts. You're gonna leave the chair on its back like this, but you're gonna need a washer, a bolt, or a nut, whatever it's called. Again, sorry, I'm not a hardware person. So you're gonna need these two and this tool. So with these three items, let's go back to the chair. So the washer is gonna go first and then the nut and then this is gonna go on top and you're gonna screw it in. Now you're gonna to wanna to place this chair on its side. Step four, you're gonna put the legs on the chair now. Make sure you use the shorter leg for the back and the longer leg for the front. So you're gonna put all four of these on the legs You have the longer legs and the shorter legs. So I'm gonna start with the shorter legs. Again, these go in the back of the chair. All you do is just screw it in. So step five was actually turning the chair to the other side and putting the other ones in. I didn't do that because I didn't want to lift it. <laughs> so you can skip that step or you can do it. Either way, just get the legs in. All right, step six, you're gonna be taking these two pieces right here, the sides of the chair. These two little screws, these two hinges, and you'll be putting them into the sides of the chair. You are going to need a screwdriver for this part, so make sure you grab one. For this next part, you're going to be putting the sides of the chair into the chair. So this little hinge right here is going to go in the hole that's in the chair. This will go into this. I don't have a lot of strength, so if I look awkward doing this, it's because I'm trying to push it down into it. You want to make sure that the side of the chair is flush with the top. Getting those pieces in the side of the chair is probably the hardest part of this whole process. The first time I made this other one, I couldn't do it myself. I needed help because I physically couldn't get it in the hinge and I couldn't push it down, but this one wasn't so bad. So we have the sides of the chair put on. So we're going to flip the chair over again on its side. On each side, we're going to be, again, putting in a washer and a screw. So again, you're going to take these and this guy, and you're going to be putting these in the two holes right here. Final step is to just put the cushion on. There you have it. That's how you put it together.